Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin is pushing a bill that would ban public schools in the state from withholding information from students about merit awards after 17 Virginia schools that we know of were caught delaying notifications. Fox News contributor and author of the Book of Virtue, Bill Bennett, joins us. Mr. Secretary, thank you very much for being here. Why would schools Bet. who you would think would want to celebrate excellence and achievement withhold merit awards from students who achieve those? Well, this is part of the subterfuges of uh, standards, Pete. Not done by aliens, by the way. <laughs> uh, this is done by our, our own people, but people who are committed to a very different agenda. People who don't believe in the idea of individual achievement, meritocracy, rewarding talent. Um, and they uh, make the mistake of thinking that uh, regarding people equally means evaluating them equally. Uh, so they bury this information. This can be information valuable to getting college admission, uh, scholarships, and just a matter of uh, pride, uh, you know, recognizing that yes. your, your kid worked hard and is a national merit scholar. It's a big deal. People have parties because of that and celebrate their, their kids' work. But I don't have to tell you, uh, this is part of a nationwide effort to undermine the school system, uh, to put in place of American ideals, um, ideals much more like socialism and communism, uh, and parents need to be very alert. For sure. Equity means tearing down those at the top. Is, is there also a funding aspect to this? Schools want to withhold it because if they look like they're performing more poorly, there's more money attached to that? Well, there is that uh, habit. I remember a school uh, superintendent in Louisiana told me, he said, our kids are doing well, but keep, we keep reporting that they're not doing well so we can get more money. Uh, and that's, uh, that's, that's obviously a problem. But, you know, Governor Youngkin and his Secretary of Education are doing a great job, but you just can't keep legislating against every possible offense that might occur. Uh, we've seen across the country these efforts, once uh, critical race theory is explicitly banned, to bring it back in under another name. Uh, again, yes. this is where parents need to be alert. Remember Ronald Reagan, my, my president, the guy I served, I uh, use that old Russian proverb, trust but verify. Every time. Uh, real quick, while we have you, you're the former education secretary, as you mentioned, under Ronald Reagan. If you could make a single change right now to the education system in America, what would it be, Mr. Secretary? Well, I, again, I, the changes we've been pushing for since the time I was there, which is uh, open choice and uh, school choice available everywhere. Uh, the Supreme Court has okayed it. It's not there in, uh, in every state. Uh, also, we need this accountability, and we have to strengthen our reporting system so it's honest and accurate about what our kids are learning. The best test we have is the National Assessment of Educational Progress, and we have got to keep it. But boy, the job for parents gets tougher and tougher in this system. But, you know, the schools matter. And if we can get the schools on the right track, with the right standards, telling the truth, that can mean a lot to the future of our country. But if we don't, we will have students coming out saying socialism is better yes. than capitalism, which they're doing for the first time in American yeah. history. If we don't, we lose our country. Uh, Secretary Bill Bennett, right. thank you very That's much. Right. It's for a matter your time. of losing our country. Exactly right. God thank bless you, sir. sir.